Okay guys, welcome back again. Same area as the last video, and now we have the Autel Sky, sorry, Autel Evo Nano Standard. Please take off later. So, I just booted it up, just about ready to launch here. Just trying to straighten out my, uh, my tablet. Okay, so let's put the camera in the video. Telling me it's self checking. Uh, yeah, it should be ready. But that video, we will. Uh, actually, I can't start. I always forget this. Can't start recording before you take off or it will stop automatically. So, okay. Let's slide to take Power off. point has been refreshed. There we go. Drone is now in the air. So, we will now start recording okay what's going on it didn't start recording i gotta get away from the car stop that optical avoidance there okay now let's start recording still not recording not sure what's going on here put it it's like the iPad is not uh, working here with this. It's allowing me to move the camera up and down, but it uh, won't hit record for some reason. Maybe if I do it on the uh, transmitter. So, long press. Start there recording. we go. Okay, now we're recording. So it just won't let me do it on the iPad on the in the app for some particular reason. I love the camera on this drone, guys. This one has an amazing camera for a little mini drone. I should have got the other version, though, instead of the standard. Oh, I think I see why here. Because the, uh, the tutorial thing is still up. There we go. Skip the guide. Now it should work by uh, touching it on the app, but we're already recording, so we don't need to do that. Let's gain some more altitude here. We're only 40 meters up. I had the police here watching me uh, flying the V-copter last flight. They were pretty interested. Ooh, let's get away from that seagull. Okay, so I can tell you right off, I want to put this in ludicrous mode. So I can go faster away from that bird. Right, that's about as high as I want to go. That's 98 meters. We're just about 400 meters out. I'll let you guys check the barracks out. I'll hit the 400 meter mark. There we go. That's as far as I'm going, guys. Gets hard to see. Turn around here. There's sunset. Sun is starting to set. So when I got here, I flew the V copter, and uh, I probably flew it for about I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. I didn't even bring the battery down to 50%, guys. It was down to probably 70-some when I landed. But uh, I love the camera on this thing. It absolutely looks amazing. And this is all set to auto. Let's actually zoom in two times. There you go. You can see the snowflakes blowing by the camera there, by the lens. This is Sydney Mines. So I'm slowly flying sideways back to me and kind of turning. So that's the only thing about this Autel Evo Nano is sometimes that avoidance goes off telling you there's something in front of the nose when there's not. I believe you can turn it off. Um, I just don't bother. I'm pretty sure you can turn it off. So let's zoom back out there. 
actually no let's stay zoomed in I want to show you guys there's people on the ice skating around they do this every year and uh, quite a few of them were over on the edge of the bank there watching me fly the v-copter they were pretty darn interested in the v-copter you guys a view of them skating try the four time zoom there we go actually that doesn't look too bad I thought it uh, pixelated uh, a lot more but that doesn't look too too bad there guys for what it is not bad at all let's zoom back out we are down to 81 percent battery Just starting to fly back towards me. So the thing I noticed about that V-copter is now and then it will want to uh, decrease its altitude if you're too low to the ground. I'm not sure if it needs an IMU calibration or not. I didn't get to do that today with it. I should have done it before I left the house, but... Uh, I'll probably do it when I go home. Because I need a level surface. But this one, this one flies amazing. Awesome little camera. Absolutely fantastic camera. I've got a woman walking on the beach here. Got to get over above me. Yeah, I'm probably good right there. Not bad guys, not bad. Uh, finally get out for a couple of flights today. And we are supposed to have weather like this all week long, but it's pretty cold out. It's too cold to be standing outside to fly, that's why I'm sitting in the car. Just scanning around. So right across that street over there, that's where the old mine used to be. I think they filmed some of my bloody Valentine at that mine. Or it was the other mine, uh, the Prince Mine. The one that used to be over there was called the Princess Mine. Princess Colliery. And there are people today still making videos about that on YouTube. About that movie being made here. I know a couple of my dad's friends were uh, stand-ins in that movie. In the, uh, some of the scenes in the mine. Not sure if he actually had a chance to act in that as an extra or not, but he didn't. He probably did have a chance because he worked there at that time. I'll head back up here one more time, guys. We're down to 70% battery. I've got it in ludicrous mode, so it's going pretty quick. 48.7 kilometers an hour. 49. 49 kilometer an hour. That's not too bad for a little drone. There's one more look at the barracks. And I'm going to end this here, so I'm going to turn around and get a nice thumbnail pic with that sunset. Then I'm going to bring it back. So, okay guys, that's it. We are going to end this here, down to 67% battery. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's little flight. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, leave a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff. It all helps the channel grow and get bigger which is the whole point to this. I would love to hit 10K or more. That being said, like I said, if you're new, please subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, share the video, make sure those notifications are on so you don't miss our videos, and peace out. We'll catch you in the next one.